Okay, so these vegan Jamaican patties was so good. Let's get into it. First of all, wash your hands, dog. Wash your hands. Okay, let's start by making this dough. So you're gonna get all-purpose flour. Three cups of all-purpose flour, unbleached. And a pinch of salt, like that. I think I use sea salt, I don't remember. Even though moving on. We're gonna add uh, three tablespoons of sugar, add your turmeric, three tablespoons of that. Just like that. Now, if you have a natto, that would go so perfect with this, but I didn't have that, and I wasn't about to go back out to the store. So I used paprika for a substitute. You know, it'll be like that sometimes. I added unsalted vegan butter. Right here, I got my one cup and a half of ice cold water. We're gonna form my dough. After we beat our dough, <laughs> form it to a ball. If you got plastic wrap, you can put your balls into plastic. It'll be better. But I had aluminum for you and baking sheets. We're gonna sit that in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Come over here to our vegetable broth. We're gonna add our lentil beans, about a cup of lentil beans. We're gonna stir that up, stir that up. And we're gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes or at least until it stops boiling. We're gonna come over here and cut our onions. We already had our ginger sitting on the side along with our lime on the side. And as you can see, I'm helping Prince cutting these these onions, because you know he wanted to be in the kitchen with daddy. You gotta start them early, right? So I'm just showing him, keep your hand on top of the knife. Take your time, because we ain't in no rush. His hand slip. Let's beat this up a little bit though. Oh, chop, 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 uh, chop. Then we're gonna come all the way back to our lentil beans. We added our onions. I added some bay leaves in there, our thyme, and our ginger. You know that dough that was in the fridge? You're gonna take that out. Make sure you flatten that with your rolling pan. Spread that out just like that, nice and flat. We're gonna fold it in half, add our unsalted butter in, the, in between, fold it again. Then we're gonna add some more butter. Right on top of that fold, we're gonna fold it again. And what this is gonna do is gonna make your your dough, or should I say, where well, your crust is gonna be nice and flaky, golden buttery like. Gonna add some more butter. And we're gonna fold it again. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna fold it again. We're gonna roll that up some more. As you can see, that bottom part is a little fat. Nothing wrong with that though. Top it off with our final pieces of butter. We're gonna fold it again, put it back in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Come back over to these lentil beans, add our ketchup, our garlic roasted herb, chipotle roasted garlic, of course. And if you got jerk seasoning, that works so perfect. But I didn't have jerk seasoning, so I made my own. And back again with the anato. I didn't have that, so paprika once again. Then I added my, just a, a pinch of sugar in there. We'll stir it up. Look how it's coming together. We're gonna let that sit. Should be ready in about 10 more minutes. Yes, sir. Look at that. So the dough, we we'll take our dough out of the fridge. We're gonna flatten it just like that to almost like a tortilla. We're gonna put your lentil beans. Right in the middle. Make sure it's in the middle, just like that. We're gonna add a little bit more. You don't have to, but you know, it's all on you. We're gonna fold it in half. Make sure it's nice and tight. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. You can get your fork just to seal it. You can see, that's why you gotta make sure it's closed. I slipped up right there, but we keep going. 
So using that focus on giving that seal, make sure it's closed. Easy, right? Okay, you wanna poke some holes at the top. And we're gonna sit that in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. Then it came out looking like that. Nice and golden like. You see the crust? Nice and flaky. I tell y'all, when I say this is so good, this gotta be the best, one of the best vegan meals I had. Bad boy, y'all. Look at that nice and soft.